Hello everyone. A group data is a data that has been organized into groups or classes. Median is one of the measure of central tendency. Let us solve a problem based on median of group data. The question is, the daily expenses of 178 families in a town are given below. We have been provided with the data regarding the daily expenses in terms of rupees of 178 families. Now if we carefully notice, we have been given observations in the form of class intervals. That means there is a lower limit and there is an upper limit. So this means that our data has already been organized into groups. So this is a grouped data. Now we need to find the median daily expense of all these families. Before we move on to find the median daily expense, we need to keep certain things in our mind. First of all, we have been provided with the frequency that is the total number of families, that is 178 families. Also we will find something called as cumulative frequency distribution which will help us to find the median of this group data and we will understand the cumulative frequency distribution as we will move further. The best way to organize any data is to tabulate it. So the first column in our table should be something that is given to us and that is the daily expense in terms of rupees. Now when we list it down we have to keep in mind that it is in an ascending or descending order. Now it has already been arranged in an ascending order so we will keep it as it is. The second thing should be the frequency or the number of families. Now frequency is the rate at which something occurs. So this just means that 38 number of families has a daily expense of 0 to 100 rupees. 37 number of families have a daily expense of 100 to 200 rupees and so on. Okay, so now we know the frequency of all the families so let us total it up and we get the sum of all the frequencies that is denoted as n or sigma fi where sigma is the sum operation and it is 178. Now we move on to find something called as cumulative frequency which is denoted as cf. A cumulative frequency is the running frequency. We know already that the frequency of 0 to 100 rupees is 38 and the frequency of 100 to 200 is 37. But if we need to find out the frequency till 200, so anything below 200 will be the total frequency till 200. It will comprise the frequency of 0 to 100 class interval and 100 to 200 that is 38 plus 37 so which is nothing but 75 now if we need to find out the frequency till 300 then we will take everything that is below 300 which means the frequency of 0 to 100 frequency of 100 to 200 and frequency of 200 to 300 and we will total it up and we will get 107 so it is nothing but the running frequency at every stage we are calculating the frequency at every stage so if we go this way then the last frequency that we get should be equal to the total frequency after we have organized our data and found the cumulative frequency we will consider the total frequency that is n which was 178 in this case we will take the half of this value that is n by 2 because this value will help us to find the median of group data so n by 2 is nothing but 178 by 2 that is 89 now we will see the class interval which will have a cumulative frequency greater than 89 so let us see which is that class interval so the class interval 200 to 300 has a cumulative frequency of 107 which is greater than 89. 
so all these values which are greater than 89 will not be considered because this value is greater than 89 and it is closest to 89 so the median class becomes 200 to 300 now the lower limit of this median class is 200 denoted as L and the class size denoted as H is 100 which is nothing but the difference between upper limit and the lower limit so 300 minus 200 will give us 100 frequency of this median class F is 32 and very importantly we have to keep in mind the cumulative frequency or CF of the class preceding this median class or the class that occurs just before this median class the cumulative frequency is 75 of this class now we know all these values we can go on to find the median of this group data with a formula L plus n by 2 minus CF upon F multiplied by H we'll substitute all these values and we'll get 200 plus 89 minus 75 upon 32 multiplied by 100 now 89 minus 75 will give us 14 so 200 plus 14 upon 32 multiplied by 100 we will multiply the 14 and 100 and we'll get 200 plus 1400 upon 32 the ratio 1400 upon 32 will be 43.75 and adding up with 200 will get 243.75 hence the median daily expense is rupees 243.75 now that we have calculated median of group data let us summarize all the steps involved first we'll arrange the set of observations in an ascending or descending order then we will compute the cumulative frequencies of all the classes and n by 2. Then we will locate the median class interval and the median will be a value inside this median class and we will calculate it by the formula L plus n by 2 minus CF upon F multiplied by H. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Do share it with your friends and post your comments. You can watch the entire syllabus of CBSC Math on our YouTube channel. Do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you for watching.